Hi, this is Jason, and I'm going to cover a topic I get asked by developers, which is, what is the difference between Linkster and a REST-only API? To answer that, let's first start with, what is Linkster? Linkster is a message-oriented cloud middleware platform, or cloud messaging for short. It is an evolution of traditional message-oriented middleware. So let's break that down. What is middleware? Middleware is the term commonly used for a system that sits in the middle of things and is used to connect distributed components or applications. Examples include database systems, telecommunications, and messaging and queuing software. Message-oriented middleware is the messaging and queuing segment of the middleware family. It is a client-server infrastructure technology that enables the development of distributed applications by providing an asynchronous messaging framework, which can be used for intra- and inter-application communication with a focus on security and reliability. Examples include IBM MQ Series, now known as WebSphere MQ, Oracle Fusion, and TIBCO Rendezvous. Traditional message-oriented middleware is expensive. It, it is very expensive. And it is complex. So much so, it has often been limited to the most mission-critical of projects, where security and reliability requirements are absolute such as financial transactions among banks and the moving around of highly sensitive government data. Inter-message oriented cloud middleware, or more simply stated, cloud messaging. Cloud messaging is the logical evolution of traditional message oriented middleware solutions, making the technology available as a service, reducing complexity and the technical barrier to entry, and greatly lowering the cost. Cloud messaging is not simply the hosting of traditional solutions in the cloud on virtual servers. It is the re-architecture of a core complex platform technology into an easy to use service. All right, let's take a look at the two types of cloud messaging offerings, RESTful API solutions and Linkster. In the mid-90s, if you told software engineers they needed to integrate an API into their program, you would hear some groans because more often than not, it was going to be a painful process. However, when the term representational state transfer, or REST, was formalized and the REST API, also known as a web service, was born in the year 2000, software engineers around the world cheered. The technical barrier to creating and utilizing certain types of APIs was greatly lowered. Today, web services are a mature offering. However, RESTful APIs are not a perfect solution. Issues around security, reliability, data durability, authentication, authorization, non-repudiation, and change management can make any web services implementation into a resource-intensive quagmire. Two examples of REST API cloud messaging solutions are Amazon SQS and Azure Q. I'm a big fan of RESTful APIs. In fact, Linkster uses RESTful and SOAP services. However, Linkster picks up, picks up where REST APIs stop. We go on and solve many of the additional coding headaches that a developer faces after implementing a REST-only API for secure and reliable messaging. Linkster takes the best of the old world, traditional message-oriented middleware, and merges it with the best of the new. Linkster combines cloud computing, web services, and a series of important features such as local transactional queues, internet connection retries, and file chunking, just to name a few. In fact, pretty much all of the features discussed in our videos, introduction to Linkster and registering programs to the ISB, are all features you would have to code yourself if you were using a REST-only API. So if you've not watched those videos, please do. In addition to the features outlined in those videos, there are some other basic differences as well. For instance, the maximum message size uh, for both SQS and Azure Q is 8 kilobytes. Linkster is 1 megabyte. That is 128 times larger. To be fair to SQS and Azure Q, you can write code and break apart your message into many 8 kilobyte messages and rechain them on the other side. However, this is like a number of other features you can code yourself, starts taking you down a, the rabbit hole of building your own messaging platform, which might not be your expertise and might not fit in your budget and timeline. Neither SQS nor Azure Q inherently support file attachments. With Linkster, you can have zero to many files attached to your message. Attachments can be as large as needed. 
While it is possible to work around this limitation in SQS and Azure Queue by storing files in a separate service and including information about the file in one of the messages, this again is just another detail in which you are now writing more code uh, as you head down that path of coding for all the issues you will encounter when rolling your own messaging platform. Neither SQS nor Azure Queue guarantee that messages retrieved from their queue will be in order. And one states that more than one copy of the same messages, message might be retrieved. This is not the case with Linkster. Another interesting difference is that one message does not equal one message with either SQS or Azure Queue. For both, multiple requests or operations are needed in order to send a single message as well as receive a message and you are charged for each of those requests or operations as a message. With Linkster, you are only charged for the messages you send, and a message is a message. Only one request operation is needed. And with Linkster, you are not charged for messages received. REST-only APIs provide building blocks you can use to develop out your own messaging platform. Linkster provides you an easy-to-use, ready-to-go full solution for secure and reliable messaging. I hope you sign up for a free trial account today. Thank you.